What's the best time frame to trade? We get that a lot, but you always respond by saying it's a price game, not a time frame game. But what does that actually mean? So it is a price game and not a time frame game. What's a time frame? You know, what, what, what's the time frame you like to trade? Where you know, where do you operate on for yourself? Yeah, one hour fifteen. One hour fifteen. Is fourteen minutes a time frame? Yeah, it is. What about forty-five minutes? Is that a time frame? Yeah, it can be. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you this question then. So I have a whiteboard in front of me here, and、uh, if you want to buy a house, okay, if you want to buy a house and the house is worth hundred thousand dollars, okay, and you are your objective. Is I need to buy that house at seventy five thousand dollars because hundred thousand is a bit too much. I think is a bit too much for what that house is currently valued at. So the price is at a hundred thousand right now. It used to be fifty, for example. It used to be fifty thousand, and you're like, I don't want to pay a hundred, but I would be happy to pay seventy five thousand. Okay, now. The whole point is, many people are focused on the bottom, this side, which is、um, the date, the date and time. When in actuality, what is a market? A market is a game of price, not time. It's a game of price, which is the right side, which is what is the current price of the market? What is the current price? Okay. Now, the, when you go to your your、uh, broker who's selling the house for a hundred thousand, do you put an offer and saying, "I'll buy the house at seventy five thousand only if it's seventy five thousand five years from now"? Does it matter? So, if it comes to seventy five in thirteen minutes, that's not in your sixty fifteen time frame. If it gets there in two minutes. That's not in the sixty fifteen time frame. If it gets there in eight hours, does it matter what time frame it is? The objective is met. Once the objective is met, this is just an explanation of if we were looking at trade. What about a larger player? Is he going to say, "I want to buy this Euro USD or Aussie CAD or New Zealand Swiss franc at one point six five zero zero"? And he's going to be like, "Whoa, we already reached one point six five zero. No, I have to wait for five more daily candles to close." <laughs> That sounds silly, doesn't it?、Mm. The price has reached; it's time to go. Whether that price, and once that price reaches, that means the one minute has reached there, the sixty minute has reached there, the daily has reached there, the weekly has reached there. That price is touched on every time frame; it's there. It's just people want to do some kind of drawings on a certain time frame. That's why they're saying, "What's the best time frame?" But that's because you're trying to draw something. It's not a drawing game. It's a price game,、hmm. right? You can draw however you want. My line can be straighter than straight is possible, and your line can be blessed by all the gurus in the world. It doesn't make any difference. If the price is met, the price is met. It's gonna move. Okay. So, and if that time frame means it's seven minutes, then it'll go from that time frame. So then, does that make seven minutes the golden time? Is that the best time frame to trade? The idea of time frame, when people choose time frames, that is their personal preference of do I want to trade this setup because it might be closer to my time frame. But the idea when people say you need to look top down and not bottom up, top down basically means I need to see the market as a whole and see what is it trying to tell me. And if they say I'm looking for this price, based on the negotiation that you read, I'm looking for this price. That price might come today on your 60-minute chart. Then it's somehow a 60-minute trade. But it's not actually a 60-minute trade. It's a trade that activated because that price was reached.、Mm. But at that same time, the daily could also say, "Hey, the price is reached. Let's go." So it's a price game. It's a price game. So 
the question to ask is what's the best time frame to trade is uh, is the wrong question to ask. It's an illogical question because you can literally type anything on your trading view, right? You can say 60, but you can also say 59 minutes. You can also say 58 minutes, 57 minutes. You're the king of the time frame. You choose. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's very powerful. It's important to know that. Yes, it's very important to know. It's, it's uh, you got to look at it in terms of price, and that will change the way you trade.